The Detroit Police Department has rolled out a new mobile app this week to help fight crime. It's called DPD Connect, and residents can get crime updates, they can look at wanted posters, and they can make anonymous incident reports. Now, at the same time, discussions are underway about equipping officers with tasers and body cameras. Are these viable solutions to fighting crime in the city? And I think when you do talk about the city moving forward, you, we've talked about education being a crucial piece in Detroit's um, success in the future, but I'll also crime fighting. So, Noah, let me start with you. Um, in some of these discussions, when, when you see Detroit coming into the technological age of a mobile app like this, does this spur um, residents in communication more with the police department? I think if, if the, any way that the police department can be more responsive to the community uh, and that people can believe that they are protected, they are safe, and that somebody is out there who has their back, I think it'll, it'll help stabilize the population and make people feel better about living in the neighborhoods. Is this good tools? I, I think there's no question that, that that's one of the, that's one of the uh, biggest disincentives to being in Detroit uh, at all is that, that people don't necessarily feel safe and, and we've got to have we've got to have a turnaround there but again the question is where is the money going to come from for all of this stuff I mean I, I think there's a real fear and you can hear that from uh, from Mayor Duggan right now who's talking who's looking at the books that he's going to be left with how do you do this uh, with with not that much more money if you put all of the money the extra money we have into public safety you still would not be solving our problem. Can't do it with borrowing and if they if they get to that temptation where well we're going to bond this out to pay for this yeah, there's so many needs and there's going to be huge tem temptation to go to the bond market and I think that's why the state oversight um, to keep that impulse in check is so important. But we talk about when you talk about pulling out a, you know a mobile app and maybe that's not going to take the largest part of your budget but again a, just a larger picture of making sure that the that the community feels like that they're in touch with what the police department is doing and that the police department is responsive right. to them at least. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a great idea. As our body cameras, I mean, uh, this mm. is something that, that uh, we have ran an op-ed this week uh, from Marty Nolenberg, a Republican uh, in, the, in, the, in the legislature, who's saying, look, this, you got to have this, uh, this, this basic sort of monitoring tool uh, on, on, on our police. But, but again, these are great ideas, but I, I am really worried about how we how we afford these things and and uh, how the city does not get itself back into financial trouble by do, trying to do uh, the things that it needs to do. And the reality is the state's going to have to stay involved here. I mean, the state's going to have to keep helping. Federal government, which didn't do a whole lot during this bankruptcy in ter terms of actual cash assistance, needs to step up and, and recognize we've got a major city here that is struggling to come back to the point where it can support itself and the foundation and corporate community were so generous during the um, grand bargain have to recognize that Detroit's a long-term project it has a lot of yeah. need. I, I would think the well would run dry after a while in terms can. of I mean can. well I mean if you think about some of the things that the, the point about the federal government is very good for, uh, for a while you, you saw the federal government committing resources to Detroit to help sort out the grant process, which uh, has been a mess for years, and we send lots of money yeah. back to Washington or don't claim as much as, as, as we should. We're still nowhere with all that stuff. That stuff has not been resolved in the way that, that, that it should. You still need the federal government to commit to helping us get the, the money that we just are entitled to uh, out of Washington, never mind more. Yeah. Um, it, it bringing it back a little bit to the, to the police department and body cameras and, and the federal government is talking about maybe helping subsidize in, in police departments around the country. Uh, is, is, this the proper, is this the proper tool that we need? Well, I think, it's, Nolan, I think, I think? it's a tool. I mean, it's, it's a, certainly a, something that will document encounters and make everyone feel just a little more aware that they're being watched. I think, that, you know, overall, it's not about technology. It's not about new pieces of equipment or weapons or what have you. I mean, you have to establish trust between the people and the police department. I think James Craig and is doing a good job. And I think that sort of 10-year consent decree we were under did a good job in Detroit of, of establishing ties between um, the community and, and the police so that when things like this happen, there's not an immediate adversarial relationship. And